was at the Auto Expo in February that we saw the significant facelifts from Renault, the new look Colios SUV and the updated mid-size sedan the Fluence. And now we have them for you on CNB. Let's talk about the Fluence first. The Fluence gets a new face with a large Renault badge that gets your attention a mile away. New LED daytime running lights and a restyled halogen projector headlamp cluster round things off. We think that the Fluence now looks even better than the Korean and the German counterparts. But at 13.99 lakhs, it does come at a price. On the inside too, Renault has done a fair bit with new leather seats, dual zone climate control and chrome around the AC vents. The Archimis audio system is also new with 3D surround sound. The Fluence is now available with just the diesel engine and Renault has done away with the 2-litre petrol variant. A pity really because it drove well. Anyhow, the 1.5-litre diesel has been tweaked. It offers 107 bhp and a fairly generous 240 nm of torque. Renault says it's worked specifically on improving low-end torque, but there is a lot of lag at lower RPMs. The surge of power only hits after 2000 RPM. There are no mechanical changes to the car, so the ride quality and the stability are unchanged. And that's a good thing. Driving the Fluence always kind of puts a smile on your face. The Fluence is a bit pricey though. The E2, as we said, starts at 14 lakh rupees, while the new fully specced E4 variant is for 15 and a half lakhs ex showroom Delhi. The Golios has been around in India for as long as Renault has been, so around three years. It might not look like a muscular SUV, but it does have a sense of appeal. The company has managed to put in 24 bhp more into this engine, taking the tally to 172 bhp. And this time around, with that, they really want to grab some eyeballs. Yup, it's surely not the best seller, but Renault has always thrown in a whole lot of goodies. Now it looks a bit better too, with the same aggressive styling up front. The Colios gets the 2-litre diesel engine that churns out 172 bhp. Yes, that's 22 horses more than its predecessor. Great! What's not though? The 6-speed automatic transmission does not respond too well when driving on winding roads. There is an essential lack of power and you have to wait for the engine to whiz and the power to kick in, which is kinda annoying. On the highway though, the conventional torque converter gearbox shows a completely different side to it as it powers on with seamless gear changes. You get leather seats, a six-way power adjustable driver's seat, dual zone automatic climate control, a Bose sound system and plenty more as standard on the 4x4 automatic and manual, but the 4x2 manual also has quite a lot packed in. Tilt and telescopic steering, auto headlights and wipers, cruise control and so on. The Colio starts at 22 lakh 33,000 rupees for the 4x2 manual, 25 lakh 13,000 for the 4x4 manual and 26 lakh 18,000 rupees for the 4x4 automatic variant. All prices ex showroom Delhi. The pricing of the Colios comes uncomfortably close to cars from the German premium brand offerings, which is the huge downer for what is otherwise a pretty capable and well-spec product.